Lil Haiti Films. Today we're in Arizona. We're sponsored by Casimir. We're about to meet one, one of our followers for the first time, Richardson. He has his own firearm class. We're about to go there and take a class. Okay, TP9 SFXB, TP9 SFX, 9mm collier, et magazine de l'équipe, on a fait des 18 plus 1, et puis ça lui même, c'est en Smith Wesson, ok, M MP9, M2.0, les 9mm liés tout, et il y a deux magazines, mais ça qui est l'âge là pour tes 8, ok. Ça va arriver. Donc, on va tirer ça là. Ça a gagné 10 la donne. Je vais m'en mettre là dans le poster en bas. Il y a. Donc, avec chaque arme, la première chose est sûre. Vous savez ce que je veux dire? Bien sûr, nous l'utilisons pour la protection, mais le numéro 1. It's always safe. So uh, when we're in the range, we always want to uh, keep the firearm in the holster. So and always pointing at the safe direction, obviously. So when you approach a firearm, you grab it, right? First thing you do, you always want to make sure it's clear. So how you do that is you remove the magazine, right? And then you write the slice, it's the slide once, twice, you know, even three times, and then you do a visual check just to make sure it's clear. And then now you know that the weapon is cleared. Now, I've cleared it. So if I were to hand that gun to you right now, you would do the same thing, go through that same process just to make sure it's clear for you. Because if I miss something, you don't want to be that guy that overlooked when you could have checked, you know? So, like that. So, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put it back in the holster, and I'm gonna have you go through that. So I'm gonna just lay it here. Now you pick it up, right? Now you always wanna point it in the same direction, good. So now you remove the holster. Keep your finger off the trigger, right? Now remove the slide and remove the uh, magazine by pressing the release right here. Yep. There you go. And then once you do that, you make sure you know there's no cartridge in there. You can put that to, on the pocket to the side. And what you're gonna do while keeping the gun face in the safe direction, you're gonna write the slide back. All right? And just let it go. You don't have to guide it. Don't don't guide it forward. Just Pull it back and then release it. Try it one more time. Never just let go. So you see how see how you kind of doing this, All right? Kind of guiding it forward. Just just let it because it'll automatically turn those plates. Place. So pull it. Keep keep pulling your. There you go. There you go. So you do that. Make sure it's clear. And then uh, let's say if you were. Um, you know, uh, practicing, like you were dry firing, which is like when you're practicing without any live ammunition, then you know you cleared the weapon. Then you can kind of go through the motions just so you can go, get comfortable. Now, let me see how you would grip the gun. Let's say you were going to present your weapon. Let's see how you shoot it. Okay. All right, so let's work on your grip. So now, good grip, right? So we're gonna take you right-handed, right? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna take the right hand, gonna literally shove it up up here to where like there's no gap right then these three fingers right here are gonna wrap around the gun while your trigger finger just literally just lay on the on the frame and then obviously these three fingers wrap around so that's what we're gonna start with for now so you don't need this hand so you're gonna you don't need this hand for now All right so there's this kind of right right here and there Good. So now with your supporting hand, this space right here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that part of your hand and place it here. That's a good grip. Okay. So that's the grip you want every time. Obviously, if you want to fire, you don't have to be in the range. You can just be at home and just.
just practicing that grip over and over. So, it, so that way, anytime we got the examiner, you present it, you know you have that grip. So that that's a good grip. So put it back in the holster. Put the cartridge first. Yeah, put that. Okay, so we're gonna go through the whole process again. Once you press the release, it'll uh, this right here. It'll automatically drop it. You don't even have to pull it. Yep. One more time. Okay. Now present your weapon. Let me see your grip. So you see how those little space right here? We don't want that. We want to avoid those space. So this hand, bring it up a little bit. What? So kind of rotate this hand. Kind of rotate it forward a little bit. Not just the thumb, but the whole wrist. All right, there you go. Then make sure your, your thumb is touching. There you go. Boom. So you get. Yep. So like, nothing's on the jam. Nope. Nope. So you know, visualize that grip. Look at it. You know, get comfortable with it. Because what's gonna happen next? The only thing you're gonna do is just take your trigger finger and then press the trigger. But not right now. We're not gonna do that. Um, but that grip. You can analyze it, look at it, see how you're holding the gun. So that way, every time you pull your gun out, that's the grip. So now, another thing that we're gonna work on is your stance. So you're gonna stand with one leg forward, right? You see how this one is standing kind of like behind? Move it, move it to the side, actually, a little bit more open. Turn your body like you're facing, like you're facing your, your target. There you go. Then lean forward a little bit, extend your arm. So it's like your attack mode, right? Just a little bit. So that's what we want every time. Okay? So as far as the safety goes, uh, you, can, you can holster it. You know, one is assume, every time you approach a firearm, always assume that it's loaded. So you want to go through that those steps that I showed you. Uh, second thing is, you know, keep your hand off the trigger until you made the decision to shoot. Uh, third, obviously, is to be pointing in a safe direction all the time and then know your target and what's behind it. So those four things, uh, if you follow them, really the whole, you know, misfire as they call it or neg negligent, it really won't happen as long as you follow those those type of. Uh, pretty much open and here is a bit close so that's to hold the cartridge down so once you when you're placing it if you start too far back it won't it won't go in I'm sorry it won't go in until it's wide enough for it to slide through and then you push it back so once your first cartridge is in you use your thumb to kind of get a little bit of leverage push it down and on the other hand you do the same thing like 19 19x yeah so one way to do it literally as you put more it'll get a little bit more resistant so if you if you try to put it like this it'll be hard to get a little bit you know leverage but if you press down with your thumb see like literally like i'm just using this finger to guide it and 
then pushing down with my thumb. It's like shooting shoot a basketball. You know, one hand to like guide it so it don't move, and the other one is to actually, so kind of like this, instead of like this. So now do you have a belt? No. That probably won't stay. So what we'll do, we'll still walk down the range to about right here to come through. In Creole, we call this a zam. In English, a gun. So from what he, he taught us. Magazine out. Okay. Let's look at the 